guys, happy Friday. And as always, it's my pleasure to bring you up to speed with what is happening in the world of entertainment news. And what better way to recap than with EMET's Top 5. At number 5 for your concert watch in Denver, who's ready to rock? The Trans-Siberian Orchestra is playing at the Pepsi Center tomorrow and tickets are going fast. At number 4, the 21st season of Dancing with the Stars is nearing the end as the contestants compete for the Mirrorball Trophy on ABC's finale. Nick Carter, Bindi Irwin, Carlos Pinavega, and Alex Scarlatos are through to the final round. Tamar Braxton unfortunately left the competition early due to a case of pneumonia. The dance must go on without her. At number 3, Ronda Rousey may have painfully lost the UFC 193 fight against kickboxing champ Holly Holmes, but the battle against social media backlash still rages on. People have called Rousey out saying that's what she gets for not bumping gloves and being humble. Yet, she still gathers support from friends such as Floyd Merriweather, who said, quote, I don't think it's cool how everyone is trolling her on social media. I'm pretty sure she's a very, very strong person, but we still have to take into consideration that she has feelings. At number two, a shocking confession from the warlock himself. In an interview with Today Show Matt Lauer, Charlie Sheen reveals he has been HIV positive for the last four years and spent $10 million to keep his condition out of the public eye. And finally, at number one for our viral vid, let me just bless your ears with some Adele greatness for just a second. The superbly soulful British singer's new hit single, Hello, has become a chart topper with over 400 million hits on YouTube alone. The song has already been turned into hilarious parodies and covered by other artists such as Demi Lovato. Okay, Adele, we get it. You're amazing, and your voice sounds like a combination of Fergie and Jesus. But give me a song that doesn't pluck on my heartstrings so much, okay? Well, besides sobbing on your couch and listening to Adele songs this weekend, here's what else you could do. I'll give you a few hints. One, it's local. Two, it's educational. And three, it's at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Explore the mystery and intrigue on Baker Street at the International Exhibition of Sherlock Holmes. And as the great detective says, you should never formulate theories until you have all the facts. Guests can discover the inspiration behind this iconic detective, see his life of luxury, get a glimpse at some cool Holmes memorabilia, and play actual detectives themselves using clues and codes to unravel a crime in true Sherlock fashion. Sherlock has such an amazing story to it where you can really dive into sleuthing out this mystery uh, for yourself and use those techniques that Sherlock uses so masterfully uh, as you kind of follow along this wonderful storyline. Never guess, it's a terribly bad habit, of course. Yeah. Often the smallest or prettiest specimen is the deadliest. And that's what you'll discover in the all-new Power of Poison exhibit. And this is a wonderful place to work. This museum is extraordinary because you come in here and you're, it's like going into a different land. Everybody is curious and everybody is helpful and everybody is open to you know, asking and answering questions and it's a, a, a magnificent place to be. Both exhibits are here for the holiday season until mid-January. So be sure to check them out. Poison. I'm with Carol. Those exhibits were amazing. And the best part, they were inside where it was nice and warm. Can I get an amen? Well, guys, I did my part. I gave you some ideas as to what to do with your weekend fun, but I know for sure what I'm going to be doing. And that's heading down to my local theater and checking out this exciting new must-see. I love you. I love you, too. Come one, come all, to the final epic installment of The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. The stakes are higher as Katniss and her valiant star squad take the fight to the capital and move to bring down the tyrannical President Snow. The new arena is now the capital itself, filled with even more dangerous booby traps, creatures, and moral obstacles for the girl on fire to leap through. 